Okay, I'm kind of back with something interesting to show you here. First of all, we'll have a look at the GT3 miniature right here and what it's running on for uh, milliamps. And so it's running on about six and a half milliamps. And this has been continuously running off uh, this carbon graphite battery for uh, about four days now. And uh, this is a little earth light. And you can see, if I can get above it, you can see the LED. And the uh, circuit is works from 0.75 volts that this thing generates. And there's barely any water in here at all. And here's the circuit. And it requires two 15 microhenry chokes and uh, two N2222 and a point double oh one and a super bright LED and that's what you get right there. But now I'm going to show you something interesting over here. I'm going to show you what the waveform looks like on the scope. This is uh, full out. And then of course that's what it's going to look like when you when it oscillates so I'll bring it out here so you can see the wave and you can see that that's one volt two volts three volts about 3.4 volts all right so now if I go over here to measure and I want the uh, time and I want the frequency Okay, let's reset here for a second. Okay, so there we are. We want utility. Measure. Time. Frequency. And you can see that it's running at about 579. 0.9 kilohertz and that's what it looks like so you got the frequency and now we'll look at the voltage it's one volt per division so if we bring this down we have one volt two volts three volts about 3.4 volts there almost 3.5 and that's what the scope's indicating so if we get this menu Clear that time. And so we'll get the frequency. We'll clear that. And it's showing five hundred and eighty three point nine kilohertz. And so that's what we're getting right there with this little and you could call it a solar light because basically it's if you stick this in the ground and put a nice little shield above it it's pretty darn bright when you look at it with a camera and uh, it seems to work really well and it just stays continuous like that as long as you add water to it I'm going to point out that th this is modified from what Laser Saber did. This is a real carbon pole. This is not graphite, it's real carbon. So, that's quite a big difference to having pure carbon versus the graphite carbon. And then the magnesium is just the magnesium roll. And, uh, anyway, I wanted to show you that. I'll show you the circuit one more time so you can make it if you want and try it. There it is. And I think you should be able to get that pretty good.
right, thanks. I just thought I'd share that with you. Have a good evening.